Hello guys, I am Ajit and we are back with one more interesting tutorial that is how to connect DynamoDB with AWS Lambda. So in this tutorial we will be learning to create a Lambda function which will interact with DynamoDB. So to get started with you can refer our blog post in which we have explained all the steps like creating DynamoDB table and creating your Lambda function and how to execute it. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So uh, the reason why we are choosing DynamoDB and Lambda is like you, you may have small application or uh, you may have a, a very small application which generally don't run every time or maybe run for a specific duration then you can use AWS Lambda to process those requests and which and that that application might need a database uh, maybe a MySQL or a NoSQL database so uh, you can you can use uh, DynamoDB if you want to use a NoSQL database and you may use RDS which is a relational database service of AWS and uh, you can also use your own database instance you, you can uh, set up MySQL or Mongo on your own but in that case uh, uh, you won't be able to use uh, AWS uh, library directly to interact with database in uh, if you are setting up your own EC2 instance uh, of MySQL or Mongo then you need to uh, have your uh, client side drivers of uh, maybe if you are using uh, MySQL with the uh, Python application then you may you might need to use uh, Py MySQL and so on. So here we will be just using Lambda with Node.js and uh, we will be interacting with DynamoDB table. So this is just going to be a demo which will have a Lambda function to insert data to DynamoDB table. So let's go ahead. Uh, first we need to create a DynamoDB table and to go to DynamoDB dashboard so here we here we are in the AWS console here you can search DynamoDB and go to DynamoDB console click on create table so all the steps are uh, being explained here as well now uh, you need to give your table a name we will be giving it my info keep the type to string keep other setting default and create on table Uh, let's give it ID and uh, maybe a name or maybe a date or whatever you want to uh, we are using the default setting now create so the table is getting created right now these tabs are disabled because the table is being created okay it's done now as you can see there are no uh, item in this now what we will be doing is we will be creating a table uh, okay we are done creating table now we will be creating lambda function so uh, you need to search for lambda although your recent searches show here but uh, I can go from there as well so in the other tab we have opened lambda console click on create function and uh, we'll be creating it from scratch you can choose some blueprints or ready-made function which will give you a uh, which will give you a basic template for your function let's give it the name my info only and uh, runtime would be node.js and uh, will be uh, so for uh, your lambda to execute it might need certain access so you need to assign a role to it so we'll be choosing from existing role 
I have already created dynamo access role so this role have uh, basic lambda execution policy attached to it and dynamo db access policy attached to it so because we will be executing a lambda function and we need access to dynamo db also so i have attached all the policies to this role now go ahead and click on create function so we have done this uh, we have uh, given the dynamo access role yeah, click on create now uh, you can say this gist and uh, copy the code snippet which is here and you can paste this inside your lambda so this is our lambda and this is our code snippet this is index.js we'll be copy pasting in the complete thing here so uh, let me walk you through the code so we are just printing to console loading event we require aws sdk we are creating an object of dynamo db and uh, we are again printing uh, the event and context so these are the parameters or arguments we will be passing to our function so this is our handler function so the file uh, the name of the file is index so we have written index in handler and the method is handler so we have written it index.handler so if your uh, function name is say main it would be index.main and so on now uh, we are setting the table name as my info we are getting the date time now we are uh, we are will be saving this item to dynamo db table with the help of this function put item table name is we have already assigned in this variable and uh, we are passing these items so we can save this and uh, then we can try it out So I have put images as well here so you can just uh, uh, look at these and get started okay so uh, after cl clicking on uh, create we'll be passing we'll be passing a sample event and we'll be creating a test event uh, you can name it like anything so we have named the event name my info and we are applying name so let's go ahead and try this out Click on save. Okay, uh, function is saved and uh, we'll be testing this against a uh, data, test event data, and we have saved named app chip. Let's see what are the execution results. So, execution result is success. We have passed this. Now let's see if uh, the data is being saved to DynamoDB or not. So as you can see, there is no um, item here. Let's refresh this. Okay, it is here. So we have passed name AppChip and uh, the date is being passed here. Now let's go ahead and change the data. So I'll configure one more test event. Create a new one, say new test and we are passing we are passing a name say that tool let's name the event name to that tool only and create now here we have selected that tool test event and let's go in and test this out okay so again it says congratulations execution has been successful let's go and see if the data has come here or not okay it is here so right uh, we have learned how to interact with dynamo db table with a simple piece of code without requiring setting up a database instance or an application instance and we are good to go uh, let me show you one more thing as i said i have already created dynamo access role so let me show you how i have created it
go to ym console and here it's taking a bit of time and click on role you will find here dynamo access role uh, i mean you can't directly find it you need to create one and then uh, assign certain policies so attach policy so here i have given it the policy amazon dynamo db full access so that it can insert data it can delete data it can read data so this is how you can um, uh, you can assign or attach a policy to it so this is all about how you can connect to DynamoDB you know, using Lambda function. Uh, one more thing, if you want to give endpoint to your AWS Lambda function, you can use AWS API Gateway. So you can use API Gateway and in this you can uh, create create an API endpoint and you can post data, you can, uh, you can make a GET request to it. Uh, all these things um, uh, like uh, DynamoDB with Lambda and API Gateway is also being explained in one of our blog post and video tutorial that uh, which is named under scalable architecture with AWS API Gateway, Lambda and DynamoDB. So here we have demonstrated how to use uh, DynamoDB, Lambda with API Gateway to create a complete REST API like architecture for your application. You can watch the video tutorial on YouTube as well. The channel name is Apichip. So the same steps has been also shown in this video tutorial. So in case of any doubt, watch this tutorial and create your scalable architecture and keep your application up and running within 10 minutes. So this is all about this tutorial. If you like our work, do like us and subscribe. Keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for watching.